ladies and ladies and gentlemen, today we are back with another armor preview for the Nihiloth of the Waking City, the brand new raid coming in patch 8.3, and today we're going to look at leather. So leather is obviously for rogues, druids, monks, and demon hunters. We're going to take a look at all the sets, the raid finder, the normal, the heroic, and the mythic set. So Nihilotha being the brand new raid of 8.3, and speaking of raid, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. I know you've heard about Raid everywhere, but there's a great reason for it. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store, and has been nominated as a finalist for the Google Play's Best 2019 User Choice Award. The game is crazy popular with almost 15 million downloads in the last six months, there's so many. So what is Raid? It's an epic dark fantasy done right, a hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. You can assemble a team from 16 heroic factions, raid with friends in a clan, or claim glory in the PvP arena. And the best part is that it's free to play. Some of the extra cool features of the game is like the multi-battle auto mode, all the weekly tournaments and events, fighting in the arena, running special dungeons, or leveling up your heroes, there's always a way to compete and win extra prizes every week. The game has grown super fast and check out this cool roadmap they've published. They've actually got huge plans to update the game over the next six months, so there is infinite content for you to enjoy and no time to get bored. A new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss you'll be able to fight with your clan mates. You can find me in the game under the nickname MrGM underscore, and if you're quick enough you can also to join my clan. So go to the video description, click the special links and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as a part of the new player program to start your journey. So thank you very much for Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video and on with the video. Okay so let's just jump straight in by checking out the Raid Finder, Normal and Heroic variants which all use the same model just different colours. <laughs> Now normally with these videos I'm like, yeah this set's amazing, I love the look of this. I'm pretty mixed on this, there is not a lot of good on this, and quite a lot of bad in my opinion, and definitely when it comes down to the Mythic set, which we'll check out in a moment, it gets kind of worse. So this set is very interesting, is it a good set for rogues? Maybe? Is it a good set for demon hunters? Maybe, but is it a good set for druids? Not really, It's it doesn't really work. Using the system of just one armor set between a ton of classes does not really work, and it definitely doesn't work with this set. Now this set is pretty interesting, there is a, there is a few little bits which are quite cool, uh, first being that chest. So the chest is actually pretty much 2D, apart from the middle section there where you can see the big kind of old god eye sticking out the middle. Now it looks pretty good, looks pretty good on pretty much every single race as well, which is nice to see, but that's pretty much it for the chest. I mean, there's not a ton else. It's got kind of 2D tentacles kind of coming down from it, something we saw on one of the previous sets as well. Now, if you move up to the helm, obviously those tentacles coming down from the chest are meant to be from the helm, because the helm kind of looks like it's got a tentacle wrapped around the neck, which is pretty cool. I like the fact that it is completely dark inside the mouth of the helm, but the helm itself is not really that grey, and luckily with most races it doesn't really clip too bad. I say most races because there is some obvious issues with a few races, and that being the Worgen, the Tauren, and the regular troll. Now it looks absolutely abysmal. There is absolutely no way this is how it's going to ship once it launches. At least I hope not because it looks absolutely horrendous. But for the rest of the races it's not as bad. But just those three specifically and obviously their allied race counterparts. They're really really bad. Uh, moving down to the shoulders. Now the shoulders don't really... They're not really that great, honestly. They're a bit kind of bland, not a lot of tentacles sticking out of them. If you come to like the plate set, for example, that was really cool. And these ones just aren't really that great. And honestly, looking at the set as a whole, you could put this in the Eternal Palace and it would work. It would work as the Eternal Palace set. It's very, very aquatic, got those kind of fins all over it. You can see there on the gloves as well, they've got those fins sticking out. A little bit of 3D assets there as well, looks kind of cool. The belt in this set isn't too bad, it does have a little bit of physics on the cloth dangling down, and, and the legs also do have some 3D assets on the thighs there, which looks pretty darn cool with the rest of the set. The boots are kind of interesting. The top of the boots is a 3D asset there, you can see those kind of 
uh, teeth sticking out in there, and the bottom of the feet is kind of a bit pointy, a bit like Peter Pan. It looks a bit strange, I'm not really sure. And on Upright Orcs, the clipping of those feet is absolutely horrendous. Uh, pretty much every other race is absolutely fine, though, but... Yeah, as a whole, not the best set in the world. I'm not the biggest fan. I think it has some good parts to it, but not really too incredible. So let's just move on now to the mythic variant of the Leather Nihilotha set. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, are you sure this is the Mythic set? It looks pretty darn similar to the other sets, and you'll be absolutely correct. This Mythic set is a recolor of the other sets, pretty much. So the gloves are the same, the belt's the same, the boots are the same, the legs are the same, the chest is the same. The only differences are obviously the color scheme and the helm and shoulders, and the shoulders pretty much exactly the same, a few tentacles sticking out the sides there, but they're completely static, not like in the plate set, where the plate set they're kind of moving around and seem very active. These are completely static, could be a bug, could be something that they're developing right now, not too sure on that, but it's not exactly breathtaking. Now the helm is essentially the same, it does have this kind of smoke coming out of the mouth, which is actually a really cool effect, and we haven't really seen that on a lot of sets, so pretty impressed with that. You see the bottom layer of teeth there has now been added, to the helm where the uh, the tentacle that goes around the neck is kind of there uh, with a few extra teeth and yeah I mean it's not really screaming mythic set to me there is a very good chance that it could be unfinished and there could be some more bits to be added but as of right now this is the mythic variant of the leather set and honestly it's a bit of a letdown compared to the other sets because it is essentially the same apart from the shoulders and the helm so that's pretty much it guys do let me know down below what you think of all these sets which one is your favorite color i personally love the coloration on the heroic one i like the variation of color throughout that set and i think it looks really really cool so as i said guys do let me know down below what you think of this set and do let me know what set you want to see next i've done a video for the plate one this is a video for the leather so we have mail and cloth left over so do let me know what you want to see next and yeah before i go i'd like to give a massive shout out to amazing patrons youtube channel members and twitch subs you guys are awesome and if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways links are down below so leave a like on this video guys if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't also got a part of the Discord channel with over 3,000 members and i'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash mrgm streaming world of warcraft having a really good time over on twitch.tv slash mrgm and with that guys i'll see you next time